now have a grey engine room after about five hours of painting. Okay, another day done on the boat. I've done nine days now. We're still cracking on with everything, but this is probably the worst job we're going to come up against. Uh, that's coat one. I'm going to put another two coats of polyurethane mid grey on there, and down the middle of the bilge, I'm going to put some epoxy primer and an epoxy top coat just to give it a little bit of extra protection. There's a little bit of welding that needs doing down there. But I'll probably do that afterwards and just um, touch it up after. Okay guys, so that's me signing off for another day. I right, made a marina, just to show you around a bit. There's a, probably the only thing I, I find a bit of a flaw in a marina, is the toilet facilities aren't very good. Uh, there you go, I'm just, just, just gonna show you the, the toilet facilities. Oh, sorry mate. Oh. Oh, they're a bit high, them toilets, aren't they? <laughs> that's Gary. It does say gentleman's there. That's the, the whatever you call it, where you chuck all your rubbish. <laughs> all your waste water goes in there. <laughs> right, we just finished uh, painting the engine bay, engine room area. It's half past 12. We're going to go outside, get some fresh air, because we're pretty high on all the fumes for the last four or five hours. Uh, so just gonna have a drink. And I'll show you around what we've done. So here we are. Mid grey, ash grey. Didn't want to go white, probably a bit too messy. There's Gary, painter extraordinaire. 30 years, man and boy. And the rest. And the rest, he says. Most of that was boy. <laughs> and there we have the bilge, which is going in epoxy resin tomorrow. Uh, the walls were polyurethane. Uh, can't mix the two up because it will just peel off the polyurethane. But it will be stronger in the bilge. Okay, so that's where we're at at the moment. Say goodbye, Gary. Bye. Thanks a lot. Right, I'm in the engine room again. Today with my friend Gary, who's painting away in the background there. <laughs> it's, it was supposed to be mid grey, but it's looking pretty white. Uh, yeah, it's looking a bit white. <laughs> I've got a grey primer on, thinking that we was going for a mid grey, which it was called mid grey, and it's turned out it's ash grey, but it's pretty white. It? It's the engine room, and it's only a base coat for the whole inside shell of the uh, engine. I'll just, just show you around what we've painted so far so we're looking pretty nice and clean and there's Gary over there with his Howden's advertising on <laughs> he's a old professional painter bailout team yeah he's in he calls himself the international bailout team so if anybody needs some help he comes down and does it <laughs> which is good because it's free free work although not really free I was helping him out the other day at his place uh, yeah, so that's about where we're at. And we're rolling it on and cutting in all the corners. One more coat to go after this, which we'll probably do Sunday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, the engine's going in. Uh, okay, so that's about where we're at at the moment. There we go, got the mob handed lot here. It's Dave linking up the engine. Jeff. Fucking great big JCP. So, beast is going in. Your well, natural environment, this is it, Jeff? Hey? This is your natural environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm better on the machine than anyone. <laughs> to be honest. You're not in the machine, I guess. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Okay, so engine's now in the engine bay, which is fantastic news. Okay, so here's the engine sitting in the bay. All nice and clean. I put loads of rags there. People have been jumping all over it, which is understandable. We've got over a ton of engine swinging above our heads. That's for the prop shaft, that hole. That gap there is for the gearbox, which I didn't bring in because I didn't know it was going in today. But Dean, Jeff and uh, another fella turned up and uh, 
gave me a hand to put it in. I think I've got to go over and pay them now. This is where I've got to tell them I haven't got any money. Um, there's the hole from the other side for the prop shaft. And then just under here is where the prop shaft connects. We've got to get um, a universal joint onto that to go from there to the engine. And, uh, and then we're all in and running, which would be nice. And then we have to put a massive, great big long exhaust, which is laying on the floor over there, into place. So, but um, the big job's done, getting that beast in there. I'm going to spend the rest of the day and evening putting this little lot on the engine. Everything's been renewed, uh, resprayed the air filter, the wiring loom's got to be done. I've been looking into that, but I think I'm probably going to get somebody else to give me a hand with that. Um, alternator's been rewired, starter motor's in the plastic thing there. Uh, hydraulic pump water pipes everything ready to go back on okay it was bloody freezing this morning uh, didn't get the sun hitting the boat until about one o'clock this afternoon because we we're right next to some conifers but i plodded away with the engine um, she's looking pretty cool i've got about another day i think of uh, bolting all the bits up and remembering what what i took off uh, yeah, that's about where we're at at the moment. So one more day on that, and then I'm onto the roof then, uh, and moving forward. Got a little list on the wall of all the things I've got to remember to do, and I've got to remember to take a photograph of the list on the wall. Okay, see you next time.